I testified in front of the House Committee on Oversight and Reforms, Subcommittee on National Security, on the subject of Russia's use of private military companies, or PMCs. Congress is particularly interested in this issue because the war in Ukraine has really put a spotlight on Russia's use of PMCs. Russia has been using the Wagner Group among its troops in the war in Ukraine, particularly on some of its frontline and most dangerous missions because it views them as more expendable than its own soldiers. And as we've seen with recent changes in conscription policy in Russia, Moscow is also struggling to supply enough troops to the front line, particularly as Ukraine makes advances. The biggest takeaway that I hope Congress takes from my testimony is that Russian PMCs such as the Wagner Group are not invincible and in fact have a variety of weaknesses and a history of failures. The growing emphasis on the network of the Wagner Group opens up PMCs like the Wagner Group to sanctions and other financial tools that the United States and its allies can use against them. So by using these financial tools, as well as by making clear to potential future partners the true costs of PMC deployments, their failures, their human rights abuses, and their destabilizing influences, the United States is well positioned to counter the spread of Russian private military companies and the influence that Moscow is able to spread in the process. For more information on this critical issue, please visit CSIS.org.